Hello, my name is Adrienne and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk all things Etsy, AI and digital products. And in this video, it's going to be quite a quick tutorial. I had a comment on one of my other videos asking me to show how I actually create Tumblr wraps in a little bit more detail. So this shouldn't take too long, but I'm going to walk you through the process. Um, I have designed here a um, so this is a tumblr wrap design or it's just a prompt from chat GPT the focus is clearly Christmas and it is faith based as well so I put my prompt into ideogram you can use any AI generator that you are familiar with and you can generate your image in the size of a square so that's one by one ratio and it's, you can see here that there is a little bit of, um, what's the word? So this part of the Tumblr wrap is pink, this part's pink, these two parts are green as well. So this is gonna be really easy to work with when it comes to making this into a seamless pattern that we can do over in Canva. So here we are over in Canva. This is my canvas for a 20 out skinny tumbler wrap design. And what I will do is I will just show you the, the ratio. So it's 9.55 inches by 8.2 inches. And that's very important that those sizes are exact and correct as well because when um, our buyer purchases and to use on their sublimation machine it has got to be the correct dimensions for their item okay so what we are simply going to do so this is you can see it's a square so I'm going to just take this out to the edges there and there I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller just so that you can see the whole page a little bit too far out there which is fine and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this over to the side and then pull this over to the side as well so now we can see that it fits the whole frame so what we will do is well what we will do before we do this step actually is we will upscale this so we will hit into our apps and then we will come to image upscaler and once it decides to load we will upscale this to four times resolution and then we will hit upscale and allow the um, upscalers to actually go through the process um, just for the purposes of the video I'm just going to fast forward this section so now that that is upscaled, what we can do is we can actually download this. So I'm just gonna move myself a little bit further down here. So we will hit share, download. We want to increase the pixel size of this. Uh, so go to the maximum it can be, which is 6,000 by 5,152 pixels. We don't have to worry about transparent background because it, it is not a transparent background. And if we just select to download this page only, so we hit download, and then that will download it and it will be in this size. And then what we can do is we can look at the next part, which is actually making it into a seamless pattern. So if we create a new page, we can pull this over and what we can see is it now fits the page perfectly, just as like the one above. And then what we can do is actually pull this to the middle of the canvas and you can you know when you're in the middle of the canvas because you get a the halfway line there and then if we click on it and hit duplicate then we get the duplicate and we pull that to the other side of the and pull that to the other side of the canvas there and we can see here that that kind of fits together really really nicely we can see that these white lines here 
connect really nicely and we can see that these flowers connect really nicely as well and the same at the top we can as I mentioned earlier the bottom half of this is green and that's really helpful and the top part of this is pink and that's really helpful as well if they are alternating colors then naturally it becomes a little bit harder to create a seamless pattern so being actually really intentional with the type of design that you're working with does make it a lot easier when you are working in Canva and you're not using like a more complex um, piece of software like Photoshop or anything like that. Now the only thing that I kind of don't like about this is I don't like this ring here and I don't like that there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to delete this. There we go. And I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to bring up one of the Canva's magic tools. And I'm going to bring in magic erase. I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to just erase that here and this here as well and I'm going to do the same on the other side obviously they're really small I'm going to just erase that part and then what I'll do I'm going to move myself out of the way because it won't let my mouse actually go there where my face is so once this has um, deleted the section I'll just delete the final section as well Move myself, I'm going to move myself over here. And I'm going to delete that part there. And I'm going to just just go over it again. It's just left a little bit of residue that I'm not too keen on. So let's just hit and raise again. And we'll give that a moment to work and then we'll see what we are left with and then we can test the, the seamless pattern again. Now, what we can see is that the eraser tool has actually erased the those two little curly things that we didn't really want on there. So we're just looking for that pink line. We're going to hit duplicate. I'm gonna bring it over to the other side. There we go. Okay, and we can see now that that has become more seamless and that this can actually, when it is printed, it will actually be a seamless pattern. So that is how we can create, we can check that this side is here and that side is here as well, but the two sections are lining up in terms of colour the images are, are lining up really well and at the top we can see that the those little sort of scallop shaped pieces are lining up really well as well and that line down the middle is just where the um where the canvas the two canvases kind of join and connect i think there is a way actually to reduce that let me see if i can figure out that for you So what I have done here is I've actually downloaded this as an image. So this is the image with the two halves together, like this. And this is that actually downloaded as an image. And what we can do is we can actually, the line that is still ever so slightly visible, we can actually use Canva's eraser tool again to kind of blur that out so that we don't even have that breaker line there. So if we hit edit and we wanna make sure that we are using just a really sort of fine line so that we're not interrupting the rest of the design, we'll just take that there and then we'll just take this up to here as so well. You can see I'm using a really, really fine line. 
and there we go we can see that that has helped to erase that fine line and you can just do it a couple of times if you are a real perfectionist but that would just allow that to just be um, concealed and to be blurred and now we can see that this is completely seamless and when it is printed it will not have a um, you know like a, a dark line in the middle or a white line in the middle it won't have anything like that when it is printed so this is a way to create seamless plastic patterns in Canva if you do not have tools like um, like Photoshop or Adobe or anything like those so I hope that this has been helpful in terms of you creating seamless tumblr wraps uh, what I will do is I will just quickly show you this mocked up into the tumblr wrap so you can see how it looks.